Hi everybody, it's Sheena Collins here. I'm in the store. I'm here at Grapevine Galleria located at 204 South Main Street. So just a little Sheena Strong update. I wanted to shout out there last week at this time, um, my doctors wanted to hospitalize me for exhaustion physically and mentally. So I had to step back, reset, figure some things out, make some changes here in my professional life, my personal life. And um, here we are, and now we're moving forward. I'm getting ready to make some changes again, and I've already put some into place. I've changed the hours at the store. I have help coming in. What once took me three weeks is now taking me over three months. I cannot bear this burden alone. Um, not that it's a burden, but you know, metaphorically speaking. And um, so I took a step back, reevaluated things, and working on figuring out how we move forward. Um, yesterday was my 49th birthday, so I'm embarking upon my 50th year here on this planet. And um, I took the time to put a lot of things into perspective, write down my goals for this upcoming uh, next year. And how amazing. Uh, three years ago in October of 2020, I was diagnosed with hormonal positive um, breast cancer. It was invasive ductal, invasive lobular, and inflammatory. So, and yes, you can have all three at the same time. It's a, there's a slim chance, but I did. And um, I'm still in active treatment um, on endocrine therapy for my cancer. I am no evidence of disease. Uh, so, but three years ago, I was diagnosed. Two years ago, I was recovering at this time and not able to work. I was recovering from multiple infections and surgeries and it had taken a huge toll on my body. And then one year ago at this time, I had um, I was recovering from my next to last uh, surgery to reclaim my body from breast cancer. And now here we are. It is present day. My breast reconstruction surgery went very well. Um, I am healed from that. Uh, and now I am healing and from the fatigue, from the tiredness, from um, learning to live with how the endocrine therapy affects me. And uh, so here we are. Um, and some changes in uh, what I'm doing uh, professionally and how I'm moving forward and how I'm achieving that balance in my life. So stay tuned for what's up to come with the Sheena Strong mission uh, this next year. Um, I will be sharing my experiences of the ups and downs of learning to live again and uh, learning to find joy and learning to find balance and not being overwhelmed and pulling myself out of survival mode and learning to not only just live through this, but thrive through this and to um, inspire others and to continue working on goals and finding a way to create this life that fits me who I am now in this present day and that also meets the goals and dreams of whom I wish to become. Okay? So... It's never too late to start over. Yesterday was my 49th birthday and I had been so depressed about where I'm at in life and having to start over again. But now I'm really excited. So I did some shifting in my thinking, talked to a lot of great people, got together with my my support team. Um, I had conversations with friends, had some really hard conversations, had some uplifting ones, um, and then, you know, turned around and worked on more realistic expectations. I'm not going to be the person that I was prior to the cancer diagnosis. That's impossible. And I'm glad I'm not the person I was two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, a year ago. Uh, so here I am moving forward and, uh, right. All right. Well, onward and upward and we will see where the excitement of this next leg of the journey takes us all right my friends peace and love it's sheena collins here with sheena strong coming to you from my retail store for those of you that don't know i'm an entrepreneur and i have done various businesses throughout my life and um i you know i always say that my worst day working for myself is better than my best day working for somebody else and with my health challenges and issues i can't see any other way of making um of of allowing myself well you know to 
recover from this journey. Um, and many of you have been helpful in that process. So all of the donors that have donated to my crowdfunding, the people that have sent checks, um, offered words of support, that has kept me going to this point. And so thank you. But with everything up in the air, with battling for disability benefits, even though I'm clearly disabled, but the big holdup is I'm self-employed. So they think that um, I live this whole different life that's way different than what I actually live. Um, and that, and uh, their picture of me is a false representation. And so I am here showing you the real representation of what this life is, and many of you know. And so I'm here to offer hope and inspiration to other people that, you know, there is, a, there is a way to keep going. You just have to just stay strong. You have to seek out resources. You have to work with your medical care teams. You need the support of your tribes around you. And uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to be at in a year. I know where I want to be. I know what I'm putting out to the universe. I know what I'm asking God for. Um, so hang in there. Let's take this journey. So we've been through the really, really awful stuff. And you know what? Five months ago, we didn't know if I was going to live. I was diagnosed with a reoccurrence of breast cancer and experienced a miracle. Absolutely 100 bona fide percent experienced a miracle between the alternative therapies I jumped on and the power of prayer and positive thought and um, my sheer stubbornness and my will to live. And I know sometimes I think, wow, I live just for this to have to start over. But you know what? I lived for this, for the opportunity to start over. All right, my friends, peace and love. Take care of yourselves. God bless you all. Thank you so much for supporting the Sheena Strong mission and for keeping me going. I just can't thank you all enough. All right, peace and love, my friends. You take care of yourselves. Let me point at you some more. <laughs> There's a lot of power in those four fingers. All right, bye, y'all.